What's up you guys, it's Juan Zuniga and this is Jansek and we're going to sneak up on Jose, the sword loser is packing all the packages because you know what, he lost the race. So let's try to sneak up on him so you can see what he's doing. How does it feel to be such a sword loser? What? You're a dude, what the heck man? Hey, they have to see you doing the work. Hand delivered by teaching his fashion himself. <laughs> Dude. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool if we do. I am humbled, thankful. You guys are savages. I'm like, saying. Like, I, I was blo day one. Like, all right. This, these are all the orders. Which and that's day one, and it's still we, we haven't fulfilled half of half, day one. Half of the order. So this is just half. Less than half of the orders fulfilled. Look at that. We worked, and it wasn't just me. Like, it, trust me, if I would have done this, it would have taken me a month. Obviously, we got Tamat. Tomas. Tomas. <laughs> Thomas. Hey, yo, Thomas. How well did we do day one? It was crazy. It was crazy. Crazy. This is crazy. this is like the social media guy, and you know he's in charge of the warehouse. Um, obviously, even my parents came to help. These shirts that you see here, more than half are already gone. We just haven't fulfilled them. Yeah, we just haven't packaged them up. But it, it was just impressive how in one day we blew past any goal we had. Like just to give you an example. Our first batch was supposed to last us a month. It lasted us two weeks. Yeah. The second batch, we ordered four to five times as more than the first batch, supposedly to last us two months. Yeah. It lasted us two days. Two days. I think like, we have what, 600 shirts left? Something like that. Like it's, it, it's marginal. And if you haven't gotten your shirt, you need, definitely need to. There's gonna be a link down below, but like, I'm still in shock. I don't know if you can tell, like I have goosebumps. I'm in shock. But you guys how, are insane, really. I'm thinking, Look at that. like, guys, and everybody that placed an order, just make sure you're gonna be getting your order, you're gonna be getting the best t-shirt in the world, and you won't regret it. These are these are some of the best. Also, stay tuned, because for the next launch, we have better things no, coming. We, we shouldn't tell them just yet, right? We're just, it's, so, we're just, just, it's just not gonna be t-shirts. Oh, no, no, no. We're still gonna have the t-shirts, because these things are amazing. These are always yeah. gonna stay, but... But new colors, maybe, you know, something the, different, the, the, but... The new products coming new in. New things coming in are gonna be amazing. Oh man. I'm excited. Well, I'm gonna put a pause on shipping for a second because we need to record car videos. I need to go record TMF videos if you wanna get that started. Yeah, so let's go. Bro, but you really do suck at driving. I'm sorry, I recall winning at least one. What are you gonna say, that you spanked me again? I saw the shade you threw me on that, but why didn't you put a replay of the second race. You still didn't spank me. Yeah, I'll so. put both replays right yeah. now. Next time, I'm editing that video. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I'll put both. Your car is squeaking. Did you oh. watch my latest video? He break his uh, arm. <laughs> Car noob doesn't know anything about I cars. I was gonna floor it until, until drown out the noise. <laughs> All right, um, shut up, man. You don't know how to drive. You know I'm gonna and while we're going to record the TMF videos, I'm gonna give you some tips on why you lost and how you can become a better driver. What? Okay. That's the point we've reached. Yeah. I'm taking driving lessons from. Me? You know what? I, I'm, I'm the wanna, oldest. I want to hear. I want to hear. I'm these. the oldest. You're right. I'm, I'm the gonna, wiser. I'm gonna respect my 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 old brother. Exactly. He's, he's already like 40. <laughs> Thirty. There we go. go. All right. The first mistake that you made was having a Porsche on a drag race. They're great cars. I love them, and I'm gonna get a lot of hate, but they're not drag cars. You had a a beast and a great driver, and then you had a, somebody who doesn't know about cars. And a mediocre car for drag racing. But you know what's really what's really uh, interesting is that even that that's the true testament of a good driver. That even in a car that's not meant to meant to drag race, I beat you in one race. That's all I'm gonna and say. And what did I say? I let go. You didn't let go. Yeah. You didn't let go. And it was by luck. You call luck better shifting and better handling versus not knowing how to drive see, a car. See, see, this is the difference. When you spanked me, when I won, when you won, it was by like. Not even a quarter of a car. A, doesn't ask any racer, any real racer. Doesn't matter if it's by an inch or by a mile. 
Winning is winning. Okay, Don Toretto, chill Insert out. clip right there. <laughs> it don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. The second thing is that you get too excited. You let your emotions get in the way. You have to be calm, cool, and collective. I'll give you that. You to know? actually win a race. I remember the first time uh, I raced it. It wasn't even in those cars. You cannot get excited. Because that's when you mess up. In the, Actually, you, that's when you mess up in a lot of things. Like exactly. When you're competing. When you, when you get all excited and you let your... Basketball, mess, whatever it is. When you get too excited, like your nerves start kicking in. And then that's when you screw up. Yeah. You miss your shift. You, you floor it too much. Like anything could happen when you get too excited. Exactly. You know, that's one of the biggest issues. And number three is not knowing how to shift. You were granny shifting. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. And I said it in the race. Again... To what you were saying, point two, to win a race, you cannot get excited. Point number three, you need to know how to shift. And when I put it on manual shifts on the first run, like I missed the shift and it bounced off the rev limiter and it always is slower when you do that. You need, to, like, you need to know how to be able to red line shift and I didn't do that right. So I'll give you that one. See, but it was because I was excited and I needed to spank this guy because I was talking I spanked too- him the first time in manual shifts and then I let automatic shifts kick in on the second race and he barely beat me. Barely. You keep saying that, but keep in mind, 200 horsepower less. 200 ponies less. Traction. Everybody I mean, knows that. The fact that we were even close, it's questionable. Because of traction. Nah, come on. That was it. That was the whole reason. And the fourth and final tip is to always, always know your car's strengths. That's true. To always win a race, you need to know the car you're driving. Exactly. That's true. If it's, it doesn't have good traction... You need to know how you can either get better traction. And I'll, I'll tell you why that's a good tip. Because that's why I challenged them to a standstill race. On a rolling race, it, it would have been, it would it wouldn't even be fair. On a rolling race, it wouldn't even, but I knew that on a standstill, that was the only way I had a chance. So that's the race I challenged. And them I, if I would have gotten slicks, maybe it would have made it better for me. Yeah, but I mean, it, this uh, was like a road race, you know. Exactly. So. You know, I know all the variables, so I knew that, but... But that's true. You know, if, you, if you know your car, you always you, you gotta, gonna you have play a on good chance of winning. Correct. And also know your opponent's car. Yeah. Know the difference. And that was my advantage. So you know, when you do a little race on a red light, you know, like zero to like when 60, you don't, yeah, when you, you don't don't have no idea. But this guy, I had driven his car, so I knew, he, the, knew that car's coming. weakness and my car's strength was traction. Exactly. His that was the same weakness, so I use it to my advantage. So definitely that. Uh, and so they still lost though. Th- they're because of a rock paper scissors shoe, <laughs> you know what? Overall, you just you just man, you just pick crappy cars. They're slow. They suck. Ne- next time, just listen to me. Just follow my lead. I have crappy cars, bad taste. I'll show you what a real car is. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay.